Hey everyone, welcome back to Cruise and Views. So today we're going to be doing the uh, mounting of the host truck camper to the bed of the truck. The cookie. <laughs> As you see. I've already got it uh, somewhat in position and I just want to go over a few of the things that I've learned. I've only done this like three times taking it on and off. Um, things that I've learned is because I've got some big tires here, I've got 41 inch Continental MPT 81s and I've got a super single setup so that the dualies have been removed and uh, these big uh, single tires put on. I have to have plenty of room to clear the uh, the jacks here and then the jack pads. So what I've done is you can see I've kind of lined up the jack more to the inside of the jack pad. And so I've been able to kind of push those out. So that way it kind of frees up lots of room for me to uh, scoot under. Then as you see, I've got this tape here and this tape is uh, smack dab right in the middle of the camper and then i've got this tape up here to line up with uh, the mat so everything that uh, i see through that review camera way up there uh right by to the uh, center right in the center left of the uh, spare tire everything lines up perfect to this so when i jack up the uh truck camper it will uh, line up nice and easy okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the truck on before I get the uh, rig uh, jacked up I'm gonna turn the truck on and reduce the air ride let all that air out so this will drop about another three inches make it a little bit easier to uh, go up underneath Okay, so here is the uh, jack uh, place on the side of the camper where you just press on. So now you can see that green light is pushed on. Now what that's going to do is allow me to use this jack remote to uh, then remotely jack up the camper. That's good. Go slow. Go slow. 
Okay, I think you're good. Keep going. Okay, you're good. You're good. I am? Yep. You cleared it. Uh, a little a ways. Keep going. Tell me. Keep going. You got another. Talk to me. Yeah, you got another few feet. Okay, uh, a little bit more. Okay, stop. No, you're not touching. You're like this off. Do not go back anymore. Okay, you're good. Okay, you're perfect. I'm gonna roll back. No. Okay, we'll check on it before you roll back. <gasps> okay, you're perfect. Okay, so uh, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the uh, mounting of the truck camper and onto the back of the truck there. Uh, as you see, here's the finished product. Um, this line right here is uh, eight feet. So we have exactly eight feet of, uh, of the truck camper on the truck bed. So again, as you see, we have exactly eight feet of that on there, which is, uh, which is the ideal amount. The center of gravity is right over the uh, rear axle and uh, we're good to go. Here's the fast guns. This is uh, from torque lift. This is what holds everything uh, down to the bed. So just my review of the whole mounting process. Again, like I said, I'm uh, I'm relatively new at this. That that was my fourth time doing it. Um, you know, a few, it, I still sweat a little bit. You know, backing up. I think while well, I know that uh, my truck is a little different because it sits uh, quite high up with the 41 inch tires, a three and a half inch lift from Buckstop Truckwear. Uh, so. You know, I'm, I'm sitting pretty high up the uh, back of my bed um, right here is about uh, 52 inches up off the ground, 51 inches up off the ground. So I've got to extend these jacks fully uh, about 30, 34 inches is how much I, I have to extend the jacks. Um, you know again it's uh, it's a little hairy for me with some practice it's going to get better but my review of this whole process is it's getting better with uh experience i've got a great teammate in Kristen. she really steps in and and tells me uh you know how much further i need to go if i'm crooked if i'm straight you know whatever the case is so that's something that is imperative uh for anyone doing this is not to do it alone uh but to uh do it with somebody that you trust um also another thing is so if you have a lower truck that's going to be a little bit easier for you you don't have to jack up the camper so high like i do um speaking of jacking up the camper i need to jack it up uh almost to you know the 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 full amount i do not do this when it's windy because the center of gravity is so high when it's fully extended some some you know 15 20 30 mile per hour gusts of wind could actually really rock that thing when it's so high up and extended so that's uh that's something that i've learned and and was told just do this on a pretty calm day or or do it when it's not so windy and um that's really you know helped out 
and then uh, finally just taking your time just um, you know again for me it's a pretty it's it's not that long of a process it's just you know making sure I'm straight and making sure that you know everything's level and 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 in the right places so uh, just taking my time and doing that but this is my full review of the uh, you know mounting of the truck camper look forward to uh, doing some more videos on uh, the the uh, truck camper and the truck um, showing you a lot more in depth of it so please like and subscribe uh, comment below would love to get your uh, comments I appreciate all the other ones on our other videos and uh, have yourself a wonderful week we will see you in just a few days on another video thank you